Well, I think that I, uh, I'm a little bit godfather. I mean, in, in, uh, in choosing the name, it was uh, in a Sunday, I think in July uh, 1994. Why we put together, why we choose this word, Parkiv? meaning uh, trust, uh, credit, uh, honor, honor, uh, dignity. And again, I give you the money, and in this period of time in Romania, we gave money, you know, tens of thousands of Deutschmarks for uh, small uh, organizations in Romania, many of them almost uh, completely unknown. <laughs> Considering that, uh, you know, it is not so much the formalities, the, the contract is an legal instrument which will compel people to use the money properly and then to return part of their gains, uh, but this, uh, you know, the sense of uh, respect among ourselves, if you say something, in, uh, you know, according to our mythology about the Roma world, if you say something, you know, it's enough. Is the word which uh, counts the word, and, and, and so the idea of Pakiv. So, Silvia, I understood that you organize a kind of uh, forum here in your uh, locality. Mm -hmm. So, please tell me more about it. How, how came this idea? Yeah, the what was about it? Mm -hmm. and the idea is came from the youth, which mm -hmm. were uh, part of the program, which uh, supported by the Fakir European Roma Fund here ah, in Tisalaswari. Your project that you implemented here. Here yes. in Tisalaswari, in a in a region, and we we selected some youth who who has the motivation, you know, to mm -hmm. to participate in the in a long term training course. Yes. It it was take uh, nine months here in Tisalaswari. As you see around the building, there yeah. was we were in the office there inside. Yeah, after you finished the, the training course. Yeah, yeah. We, we we were thinking that what you do, which is can 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 remind us our whole common action that we spent together, yes. and and also involve the the community, uh, the the Roma communities and the authorities here in Pisawashwari just to to let uh, start to open some question to let open some question which is related to discrimination and uh, the integration process here So what you are saying, if I understood well, is the fact that this forum debate, it was the young people action initiative. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yes, of course. And so, what was what was your uh, uh, role in this? How how do they came to the point to mm -hmm. create this forum? Mm -hmm. what, my my what role uh, exactly was that. Uh, let I I just said that. I have to facilitate the, the youth, you know, because mm -hmm. they are living here. They, I just let them to realize the issues, the problem, the the necessities here. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, then I I just had them to to came with the idea, you know. I I didn't have uh, in mind the idea for the forum. Yes. But they came with with us, came with this this idea, and <clears throat> and that was really interesting because the. The process of organizing this forum, they they make them really, really exciting, really motivated, 
and you know how how yeah. they came with the, invite the, the Roma people from the settlement. Mm-hmm. We we have the tradition for the wedding day. For example, when the, the couple go to the house, and so they prefer a really nice invitation paper for the forum, mm-hmm. and and they go to the each houses to invite them to the forum. And you know this is more more humanic. And it was a really great idea. Your project, actually, if I understood well, it, it was a capacity building uh, uh, project somehow. Yeah. And yeah. so you are trying to multiply the 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 project that uh, you have been through, Pakiv, and to to multiply it here in your uh, exactly in in your place. Exactly. Your somehow place. I try to 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 mm-hmm. do that. And as I understood, and you just give me some example, this uh, project already affected and influenced. Uh, it's, it's not just the the youth. Of course, they were the concrete uh, target for this. Yes. It's, it's, it's influenced uh, the much more the institutional level. <laughs> massive uh, um, appearance of Roma organizations, NGOs and others, uh, has happened uh, actually 15 years ago, since since 1990, since uh, the transition period, in the transition period, and that whatever we say uh, about the Roma movement, its diversity, conflicts, problems, uh, weaknesses, whatever you want, has to be put in this perspective that it is a new, a totally new phenomenon for this community. This, the, the public life of Roma was practically zero, with the exclusion of a small elite which started to move in, in the 70s through, through, through Europe. But uh, for, for the majority of the Roma, um, being member of an organization, or so, which was not e- even even not not imagined that we have spe- specific rights as a minority, didn't even occur. Will you apply again for this program if you had the opportunity <laughs> to go back in time? If I would apply again? Yes. Uh, uh, yes, I think so. But but uh, I will I will do it in in a different way. You know the original idea to to have that local level to have for your background, to have for your community is is a really is a really strong uh, strong uh, challenge. Yeah. And and with this uh, challenge you know you just you cannot do it alone. You know, as as yes, that's you, true. you came back from the course and, and go to go back home to, to your settlement, to your community and People thinking that too, you are well educated Roma, and now you can solve that problem. But it's not. It's not that way. I, I think we're somehow in a Roma issue. It's not just in Pakistan, but but all all of the in a in a so generally in a Roma issue, we 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 need to to develop our communication. Can you imagine your life without this program, without this Pakir program? Yes, I can imagine, of course. How, uh, how would it be without this program? Which is uh, less without it that the connection, the relation with people, the capital relation, because uh, I, I, know, I knew a lot of people from the Pakir program, mm-hmm. you know, and, and I have uh, lots of opportunities to to meet uh, different people from from different uh, level, from different uh, expertise, from different experts as a political, as a social experts, and and I know people from the civic movement uh, in Hungary. I I knew a lot of people, 
that uh, uh, I would thanks for Pakiv, you know. Mm -hmm. So without Pakiv, I don't have this uh, capital relation, but uh, I think uh, I live in a university because uh, b before the Pakiv, that was my, my, one of my aim to go to the university. This is the, the place of the Utrecht Lorang University. Mm -hmm. This you can see around the whole campus here. So all these all these buildings are are belonging to the university. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I spent here five years. You know, I'm going. I'm finished the the study uh, in this year. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, I started in 2002 to because apply to the university. Ah, okay. Just yeah, after the five years. program. Exactly after the Pakiv program, mm -hmm. and it was. Uh, I think the Pakiv gave me a lot of knowledge to to try to apply to the university. You know, I'm in a faculty of social policy. Yes. In the uh, first year, I had uh, several Roma um, classmates, uh, but but they didn't continue continue to come over. They gave up. They step out. They, they step out. They gave up somehow. We still, we, we are around uh, four, four or three, three Roma, no. uh, and this in this faculty. How do you feel as a as a Roma student here in uh, in this quite big university? Yeah, in a, in the first year it was a little bit difficult to to integrate myself, you know, to the to the student style, to the to the lifestyle in Budapest because uh, because uh, really different than, than I had from the countryside, from the rural area. Yes, because you are coming Sisa from Sisa is Sisa a Sisa Sisa town, yes. it's, it's, not a, it's not a village, but but you know how is the, the Roma living yes. in one place, in, in one community. And I really missed my background and it was so, so difficult to, to survive from this process. Having a job and being a student. Yeah, it's uh, how how it was this it, this. It was difficult, you know, to 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 make myself to ready for the exam, mm -hmm. and and of course to achieve uh, things in, in the workplace. It, yes. it was really difficult to manage it, but I did. And and look back to the five years, I was thinking that uh, I I wasn't so bad on this, you know. Give up some emotional things inside me. You know, somehow is is uh, is a contribution to the to the future of of of, uh, of Roma in in Hungary. I think it's it's for the next generations. For example, for my children, is is uh, really will be more more easier to live. You know, I don't want them them to to get the kind of experience that I got from from the poor Roma settlement. Uh, at that, I thought too that the, um, uh, logically we should look for young people to grow up as the future leaders of, of this society, of this group. Um, and then came this idea of a, of a training course uh, for um, uh, social leaders, for, for NGO leaders, for civil leaders among the Roma. And uh, by chance, as chance is always a, 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 an important factor in life, um, we uh, managed to uh, receive a very elegant sum from the World Bank, a half a million dollars for this, for this training. We uh, chose from four countries, around five uh, young people, uh, young Roma, uh, girls and, and boys, uh, females and males, so to speak, um, who had had some experience in civil activity uh, and who were ready to 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 uh, um, uh, to enter this this uh, this whole year of um, uh, study in a certain way of formation. So uh, one of the things we insisted upon was uh, that they learn English as the lingua franca of of, um, of the world of today of tomorrow, unfortunately or fortunately, I don't know. Uh, and uh, counting on, on uh, uh, 
their musical capacities <laughs> as a group and a good ear, uh, it, it, it turned out that in three months, uh, some of them remarkably well, but all of them uh, learned the basis of, 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 of English, the, the basic English. Then there was another training point which happened in Denmark, where uh, this organization we, who, which trained for in the last 20 years, I believe, third world um, uh, social leaders uh, in, in, in what, what it means, um, uh, local work with, with, with communities, etc., etc., um, to spend there, if I remember, well, two or three months, and then uh, uh, expose them to the, their own countries. Uh, projects and 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 uh, 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 then in the final analysis give them the opportunity to to develop their capacities as future leaders, local and national leaders of uh, of um, uh, their respective countries. <laughs> Well, uh, I didn't choose to be independent, let's say, uh, because uh, it, it just come. After I finished the faculty training program, I was uh, quite uh, busy for one year or two with uh, the local project, uh, doing different uh, volunteer activities in this area, and I received some proposals for different organizations to work as a facilitator or a trainer or consultant for different programs. I think this um, this type of work as an uh, independent uh, consultant or uh, facilitator or something like that fit my needs uh, in a very very good way. And my um, present idea would be to interview these uh, people of the first group uh, to find out what happened to them, how they see that the change which occurred after after ten years, after six six years, practically five years. <clears throat> what did it give to them as a as an experience? Did they really continue to to be engaged in the Roma civil movement? Um, in general, to evaluate uh, this uh, um, experience, which uh, then was followed up, if I'm not mistaken, by another or two others. I can't remember exactly. Maybe you want to know something about the project idea or what has been done after that. For example, here I have one of my uh, colleagues and a very good uh, partner which was involved in one of the most known actions uh, which was uh, implemented here in this area. And this action was, uh, how to say, under the umbrella of uh, Pak European Roma Fund. It is about uh, Roma International Day in, on 8 April and uh, my colleague with her organization which is a human rights organization which was one of the, our partners mm -hmm. here and we organize everything. Very important thing is the fact that I, I, I believe that before this action of Paki European Roma Fund in 2003 nobody knows almost anything about the meaning of this day. Mm -hmm. We organized this event in all the region, in six or seven localities. Six. In the same day, in all the localities, we have done the same activities. We received uh, small support from uh, Pakiv European Roma mm -hmm. uh, And we managed uh, to mobilize more local resources mm -hmm. for, for this. We, uh, we printed f uh, leaflets, we organized uh, Silent March. Uh, we organize uh, a conference, uh, a video room with pictures and movies. Ah, do you in, mean in uh, partnership with the yes, human rights yes, organization? Yes. Yeah. And uh, the thing is, the most important thing is, is the fact that after one year, after we have done this, 
all the administration with other local partners from each of the community, they organize by themselves uh, this event. And since then, it's organized every year. You know, because before 2003, nobody knows anything about this. Uh, so this is one of the uh, one of the most nicest uh, actions. After, um, let's say, I bring here the Pakiv approach and the Pakiv uh, philosophy. We had the idea that these well-educated uh, people going to the communities and trying to do community mobilization and organize small uh, economic uh, activities, income genetic activities, knowing uh, the technology and the bureaucracy of uh, uh, funding, uh, project uh, proposal, project implementation, and so on and so forth. So we have now uh, you know, a new generation of uh, community organizers who take a specialized role. They are not in the same time representatives of communities and leaders of the project, which happened at the time both in your project and in our project, and they still continue to happen. Try to mobilize this community. You are helping them. So can you tell me something yes. more about this? Yeah. Your help. So there are there are young people on a kind of uh, initiative group, mm. trying to organize themselves to uh, promoting the Roma culture and the music and stuff like this. Mm. Last week uh, we start the process to uh, register this uh, initiative group. We had a kind of general election. Mm -hmm. They uh, elect uh, a president and a vice president. Now we are in the situation to collect the signature mm -hmm. of those people who are agreed to create this initiative group because next week we plan to, to go to the local administration and to register this group uh, oh, to the city office. Yeah. So I, I've been involved in different uh, communities as uh, playing different roles, as a facilitator, consultant, things like that. But not only here in this region, but also in county and um, uh, this part of the country, not uh, not west. They just heard about me because I I did some activities in other community. One thing is clear: people observe me. Mm -hmm. Uh, from different places, different community, maybe they spoke between them. This trust issue it's, is the result of uh, several years of, uh, of activi getting involved in different activities in different communities. We have a fragmenty under the pressure to illustrate with our own lives the, 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 the agenda that we propose is genuine. If you like to have Roma in electoral uh, process, you are the one who is running for the elections to expose yourself. Yes, I am wrong, and I am, uh, uh, you know, I am going to elections. If you like to, uh, you know, have an agenda for, uh, uh, for a project, an income generating project, yes, you, you take the board, yes, I am doing the project. Just to say that you are not only telling to others what to do, you are the one, first of all, who illustrate with your own life, with your own, uh, you know, number of years, that you are doing that. So I just, on the one hand, to justify them, they were, like, we are sacrificing sacrificing ourselves, first of all, because we experiment on us first with the project, and then it was an ambiguity, you know, I think, in our signals, that, uh, you know, between what means the project leader and the facilitator. <laughs> Can you explain where 
where we are now and what's your job here? Mm-hmm. What you are working? We are on the uh, Slovak Republic governmental office now. Uh, Vice Prime Minister um, is sitting. We are here because um, on September in 2006 I became the spokeswoman and uh, advisor of a Vice Prime Minister. What you are doing is like daily work. Mm-hmm. So that's, um, that's why because I'm in the double position here that I'm spokeswoman and also advisor for uh, Roma communities to the Vice Prime Minister. Then uh, my daily job is to work with media, with journalists, and uh, I attend uh, bilateral discussions uh, together with Vice Prime Minister. And also I do work uh, as advisor, and I also am working on strategy, uh, how to solve the uh, situation of uh, Roma. And, uh, I attend uh, uh, committees. I actually I talk in media and I talk instead of vice prime minister. Uh, during your package training course, you were a bit late with the others because of your English, and then you were not so talkative and you didn't take so much part in the discussion, but now I can see that you are a spokeswoman and it's a kind of really very impressive what you are doing. Mm-hmm. Just some about Pakistan. Uh, yes, I came in Pakistan uh, program later than others. Uh, I uh, enjoy them in Denmark and then uh, yeah I think I was more listener than uh, than uh, speaker there but I can listen very well it's true <laughs> and sometimes it's very important yeah. to listen not just to talk and talk. Maybe I a little bit changed, but like I think my personality that um, maybe I have bigger courage now to talk. Maybe uh, before I was uh, a little bit more shy uh, to, to present my ideas and uh, uh, like uh, to speak in front of audience. That was actually a very big problem for me. Uh, during the parkour training. Now I think I'm much better in that, but uh, still, uh, still uh, I have actually the time and period when I'm shy, but I try to go over this and uh, I have to. And uh, I think it was the, the the fucking training for me and actually it was the best, uh, best experience for me and uh, the best experience in different uh, ways uh, not only for my personal uh, development but uh, and uh, also professional development uh, but uh, I think uh, I could uh, get in contact with uh, different uh, different style of life during the party, you know, like uh, the the style of life of Bulgarian Roma, of Romanian Roma, of Hungarian Roma, and to, to get the information how they live and uh, uh, what actually their specific, uh, what's the specific in their Roma culture, and uh, I found uh, and what was actually the best that I found a uh, very good friend and I think that uh, we are actually the friends who can support each other and that's, uh, that's um, very big uh, value. But I think it's, it's, a, it's a proof of a certain success if we formulate it this way and, and this is correct. Uh, I believe that, that uh, 
um, it will be a proof of the of the success of active training if this uh, group of 30 uh, uh, not only feel the need to to be solidarious but organize themselves in a solidarious way and they don't need any more a structure uh, an office a, I don't know what in order to do that uh, that is today internet and all these 30 people have uh, probably someone among them should be the, 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 the secretary of the group, so to speak, to, to keep it alive. But I, I, I don't see uh, the necessity of an institutional institutionalizing something which is a product and a positive product of, of, of a training process. <laughs> Actually, the West Prime Minister sent me here to solve the situation with this uh, Roma community with this team. Actually, as a result, that the mayor is very open and uh, is uh, able to cooperate and to do something for that community. So we decided that we, will, uh, we are going to support them. What about the, the local people? They are able to cooperate with the municipalities here? Yes, they have, uh, as I got, they have one Roma NGO here and also community center and they are very willing uh, to cooperate. Actually they are active and they, uh, they uh, uh, make discussions with mayor. I think yes, uh, the leaders here are very, can influence actually the community. So what's the nearest plan like? The nearest plan is that the municipality is going to apply with projects to some public sources, financial sources, and that the Vice Prime Minister will make lobby for them, they to get some finances. The municip municipality will uh, also uh, invest some money, they will go yeah, yeah, from their own budget, and uh, they are going to destroy that, that houses and to build new ones. So that's also a part of your of your job mm -hmm. to, to come here to check the place and yeah, to like negotiate yeah. with mayors and uh, and to give them like support and also to to communicate with Roma community to to appeal on them that they should declare themselves uh, like Roma that is better for them and uh, also like to facilitate discussions between Roma NGOs and uh, municipalities and to talk to municipalities that they are going to get support but they should think for the segregation policy not mm. to segregate Roma uh, to explain them what uh, are ideas and uh, what are approach to the Roma and that they should uh, actually keep that criteria and we are able to support their program then. Of course we, we have chosen two among people who existed, we cannot create people. Uh, you have to take uh, the, the, the youngsters who come, who, who are available, who, who, who want to, you know, uh, small things like that. Being away from, from my family for one year, or for my child for one year, it's not an easy decision to take.
here. This is my community, one of the Roma community in, in my town, Dupnica, because we have five other communities. So this is a smallest one, and it's a mix. As you can see, we don't live only Roma, but in front there is uh, non-Roma as well. How was your story with, with the package? I decided to apply. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to study something and to, to be out of my community because not so much not so much possibilities and very segregated. So I decided that I should apply and I did. There was a request to know basic English language, so I knew some words. I was able to say some some sentences. Myself is is developed more than the people who are still living here. Mm -hmm. And I realized it because I had so many possibilities to to see other people, to see other countries, to go and exchange experience with other Roma, mm -hmm. non-Roma, mm -hmm. every kind of uh, origin. Mm -hmm. And when I, I know that most of the people here doesn't know what, what they don't even imagine that they can be in an airplane, for example. And I have been traveled so, so, so much. This kind of makes me to see the real situation. situation. So, and what happened after the PAKIF course? My other colleagues from PAKIF Bulgaria, who was working in SEGA, and that's how I interact with SEGA, and okay. I was uh, getting there, going there. I was interested in this job, and mm -hmm. then, mm -hmm. then I was uh, taken as a member of SEGA. Mm -hmm. I think all of the people who are here, they are really uh, proud of, of, of me. What I'm trying to do is to make all those youth here to have also possibilities and through SEGA, PAKIF and okay. whatever organization I'm trying to involve them and, and show them the other side. SEGA was founded officially in 1995, but they, they started before, in mm -hmm. 1992. By whom? What's it was developed by uh, activists mm -hmm. who are currently working in different pages, like a consultancy mm -hmm. and different organizations. This is creating effective grassroots alternatives, so the short name is SEGA. And it's all about building local capacity of uh, Roma NGOs in order they to become strongest mm -hmm. NGOs in their region to find solutions and uh, develop the communities. The communities yeah. mm -hmm. Our project is, uh, is uh, focused basically on local level. We don't do any, anything directly in community, so we just build capacities of uh, Roma NGOs in order they to improve their situation. That means mostly you, you so serve we, them some kind of training? Yeah, we provide them different tra trainings uh -huh. based on their, on their needs, like um, team building, communication skills, uh, train them how mm -hmm. to make projects, to write projects, then to, to make strategies. We encourage them to collaborate with uh, <coughs> local institutions. Mostly of our partners, they work in education, so they mm -hmm. they trying to improve the quality of education of mm -hmm. uh, so they Roma are children. So they are, yeah, mostly they are experts in education field, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. especially to especially when works with schools and move the children from segregated to to mainstream. Cool. 
всичко, Силвия, от всичко. Силвия е хирин с апарева баня и с мол таун. The population is 4000 and the Roma are 400, so it's 10%. Most of the Roma are unemployed and they have, uh, that's the biggest main problem, that they don't have a job here. And currently we are here to discuss uh, a topic about campaign which will take place in October. Last week we had a workshop out of this town where we have been five initiative groups and we developed common ideas what should be made like common action in each five locations. So I think that the parkiv may remain alive uh, as long as its members occupy in different positions in different countries would like to meet uh, and to share uh, this uh, expertise. If some of them will become facilitators for uh, uh, local projects for education of uh, Roma, they are continuing to work with the uh, Parkiv uh, mentality. If Parkiv uh, now having this kind of uh, experience in dialogue at transnational level and uh, people meeting and sharing, uh, uh, you know, knowledge, uh, and then uh, going back home and working in uh, similar activities, so that they have all the time something new to share among themselves, they are advancing in this kind of knowledge. I think that Parkiv may be. Uh, you know, and I just suggest, I improvisated a little bit, I, I, I didn't so necessarily systematically to that, but I think that this is something that uh, Vakiv can do by remaining connected with the initial ideas of the project. <laughs> Is, uh, is that a place where, where your youths are working as they cleaning the place here as a volunteer? So how, how you can get them to this, this work? Yeah, this is uh, one of the last initiatives developed by them in one of our trainings, which was developing local initiatives. Mm -hmm. And on this seminar, they told that they can clean this uh, big park and mm -hmm. they can build some places where uh, people can sit and, and have a rest. The youths are getting involved because they see that they can make something and that shows them that it could happen something, something yeah. good. Step by step, they realize that uh, to be volunteer is giving you possibilities to go outside, to see other people, to mm -hmm. that you have possibilities to make something good for your community. Yeah. What is your faculty exactly? It's a concrete. Business administration, mostly management. Uh -huh. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> you can learn a lot about management. And business. Yeah, and the, the work I'm doing, it helps me in my university because the things we are learning there, I have already experience, mm -hmm. no practice. When I'm having exams, I even cannot, I even could not study so much because you know a lot I, I know the things, even uh -huh. from Paki's uh -huh. training. That's I have really been, good. When I, I was in Paki's course, I get a lot of knowledge, a lot of uh, skills, and I needed kind of time to realize them. So after I, I started to work in Sega, then I realized how much and how many I have learned and, through yeah. this. So you, uh, you can say that you are really busy in a daily life? Yeah. You work in Sega, 
Very Although you are students, you're working for Pakiv, yeah, managing some help from Bulgaria. Yeah. But, yeah, because you have the lot for for the management. Yes, you are right. That I can't say I'm so busy, mm -hmm. but but I like it. I mean, I like to be busy, and I used to to be so active and doing so much things parallel. Since we are partners, I mean, Sega and Paki, mm -hmm. I'm trying to manage both in one. So, if there... In one way, you manage the two things? Yeah, like, um, I don't because know. Because of the partnership? Yeah, we are partnership, and like I said, that this is done by Sega and Paki, and I'm all the time involving... I'm all the time involving uh, both organizations. Let's bring something. Hmm?